but Thank I hope you. we can give you good news. Thank you. Good. Okay, listen, I am going to do this. Actually, I've got to go down the merge room. Oh, no. I'm going to go down and I'm going to just park the uh, robot in the merge room. There's a robot here in the ER in case you need it, okay? Okay, okay. sounds good. Thanks. Now, listen, tomorrow we're going to be uh, seen by the stroke accreditation team. Yes. I'd love to get a stroke today so I can present that on morning rounds tomorrow. So try to arrange a stroke today. Oh, yeah. I thought you were saying you wanted to have a stroke. I was like, no, 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 no. All you no, do no, is no, call, no. Up, call up the universe and request a stroke. <laughs> okay. We'll do our best. Okay. Uh Hi, Dr. Good. Pardon me. I'm in the waiting room here. Let me go on in the ICU. Hello, folks. Dr. Good. Hello. Is the ICU right here? Yeah. There we are. Pardon me. How do you do? Hi, Dr. Good. Hi. Uh, did you join us on rounds this morning? Did you Did you try? No. Okay. Well, we'll try to get you set to do that. Listen, um, I'm on call tonight. I'll be on call at 4 p.m. If you have anything, give me a call. And I'll be on call until tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Okay, but wait before you go because Sax wanted to talk to you, and he's down at Station 2. Then I'll go down and see him. Okay. Okay. Can yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, folks. Just a robot. Okay, there's a doctor down here. I, I saw a patient here this morning. He had a very severe anemia, and maybe he wants to talk to me about him. We'll find out here. This is this is you're in you're in Fort Bragg in the Mendoc in the Mendocino Coast District Hospital. We're going down from the ICU down to the ward because the doctor is the hospitalist has a question there. We'll go see what's going on there. The nice thing about this is I can go to five hospitals, including our own right here, very easily. Now, uh, the nice thing about this is we ex extend expertise where it's not. And in uh, Fort Bragg, they don't have a critical care specialist like myself. They don't have a cardiologist. For example, yesterday I saw a lady there who had had a life-threatening arrhythmia called ventricular fibrillation. We got her out of it with a shock and put her on medications. And then I had Tom Cunningham, who was the cardiologist here, join me in rounds, and we saw the patient together. Uh -huh. That patient now is at Sutter getting a cardiac cath today because the patient had acute ischemic episode of the heart, had a life-threatening arrhythmia. It's called sudden death syndrome aborted. If you don't abort it, it's real. So it was aborted. So it was very nice that I had Cunningham sitting right where you are, see the patient with me, accept the patient being... Um, Kath, as we talk. This also brings patients to us here. If there's a patient up north that they can't handle, and I can handle, in terms of being a respiratory specialist, I'll bring the patient here. Um, the, the beauty of this is very simply put, if a hospital lacks specialty services they need, I will provide it. And that applies to us here also. Like we don't have neurology for strokes, we have it from the city here. We don't have pediatric critical care. We have from Oakland here via the robot. So it makes us not a small hospital anymore. It makes us a hospital that has the in-depth consultative abilities. So it makes a little hospital powerful, given consultative expertise. And this doesn't exist elsewhere. Fortuna is going to join us in May or June, so we'll have six hospitals then. And then we're going to aim for Garberville, and then Clear Lake, and then Sonoma Valley, so we intend to grow one at a time so we can handle the growth type thing. But it's a good idea, it really is.